The Federal Reserve dropped the bank lending rate on 18 September, and that has an impact on the marketplace. And it also impacts mortgage interest rates, though not directly. There is some algorithmic movement when the Fed drops. Get to know why that's important in this video and how you can prepare yourself for the next couple months. It may be your best chance to buy in quite some time. Hi folks, Tom Mason with West USA Realty, an Arizona-based family-owned brokerage here in Arizona. We've been waiting for interest rates to drop, and now they have. And hopefully, they're going to keep continuing in the same direction. If you're a buyer or seller and you're looking to get into the market, knowing what these trends are can help you get into the market at the right time, a time when it's comfortable for you. Build your American dream, owning a home, generational wealth, all the things that come along with home ownership first metric we have to look at is the 30-year fixed mortgage rates generally and we can see this gigantic drop that's occurred over time as the 10-year Treasury has come down and slightly the secondary mortgage market has added just a little bit to the 10-year and if you know the formula if the 10-year Treasury plus the secondary mortgage market equals your eventual mortgage rate the secondary mortgage market adds that little bit so they can make money on a transaction they're not going to trade straight across at a 10-year Treasury level so again, when we look at this 30-year fixed mortgage rate coming down, the next thing we have to look at is that 10-year treasury. And we look at the 10-year treasury and how it's floated over time. And I put this trend line in so we could all see exactly what's been happening with that 10-year treasury. Let me take out that mo moving average. We can see over the last six months how much it's come down. And even more so when we look at three month, we can see this definite decline in the 10-year treasury. And that's also quite a bit of function of inflation because the 10-year treasury note is used by the treasury department to pay off our debt. They have to attract investors to it. And as our inf inflation comes down, they don't have to offer those higher returns anymore. The dollar is worth more as inflation comes down. And so they can reduce that rate that they offer for investors who buy the 10-year treasury. That comes up and down, depends on economic news. But again, it's one of those two factors that we think about, the 10-year and the secondary mortgage market. So going back to that 30-year fixed mortgage, let's take a look at what's done recently. We're going to change the dynamic a little bit here. We're going to go to February, or excuse me, September 2nd, 2024. And you can see this downward trend. Now this is Freddie Mac government lending, but the general conventional loan is in blue. You can see how that's fallen quite a bit. We'll go back a few months more. We can go back to May. We can see how far it's come down since May for 30-year fixed mortgage rates. We hit a low of 6.11 for well-qualified buyers, and now we're right at about 6.15. The low it's been in quite some time since last February, really. But the more important part is what has happened with that secondary mortgage market, because this 10-year treasury will float around the impact occurs when we look at the secondary mortgage market and what they're adding to the tenure. So I made a little chart. We can go way back to October 19th of 2023 when I, we hit our highest mortgage rate, which was 8.03%. The tenure was below five, it was 4.93%, but that secondary mortgage market was adding 3.1% because inflation was so high. And as we go through each of the months, you can see that this change, the difference comes down. Now, what should this difference be? What should the secondary mortgage market be adding? It should be adding about 2.25%. And recently, after the Fed cut, you can see September 5th, we were at 2.6. But as soon as the Fed cut on the 18th of September, 2024, that dropped by almost 30 basis points. Went from 2.6 to 2.3. Now it's come up slightly in the two days afterwards. That's just market fluctuation. But what we want to see is this continued downward trend if inflation continues to go down. And that's what we hope to see in the next few months. If we get good economic information in October, November, October is a really tricky month for the market. So we really hope that we get good information in October. Then we may see this difference come down even more. And if the, even if the 10 year treasury stays the same, if we get to 2.25 interest rates, for mortgages will be at 5.9%, breaking that magical 6% barrier that a lot of buyers are banking on. To make this even a little bit more easier to read, I've created this chart, and this orange line is gonna be the mortgage rate. You can see that dropping. The 10-year treasury we have in blue, 
and then the difference between the two is in green and you can see that the difference was highest way back in October over three but now we see it down here below this trend line this dotted line is a trend line and that dotted trend line I just added shows that decline even better The dotted red line is the set intercept or what's known as the really the average. When I take that set intercept away, watch the green dotted line move in the downward trends. Good news for everybody who wants to get into the market if you're looking for a house. If your wages have gone up with inflation, you may be well positioned right now to start getting pre-qualified for loans just to take a look at what's out there, you know, get that pre-qualification done first because if you walk into a home and you really like it and you want to make an offer, you're going to have to submit that anyway. With an Arizona contract, your pre-qualification has to go in there anyway, so you might as well get it done. They're good for up to 90 days for most lenders, so that gives you three months while we wait and see if that trend continues and the mortgage interest rates drop even further, you're in an absolutely great position. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Give me a call, text, whatever you need. Consultations are always free because I can help you build a better life.